So guess what? God is visiting the earth, man. Do you think God hates? No, nah, yeah, hold it. Oh, uh, you know what I want. Give me Romans. Run the precepts. Give me uh, Malachi. Because that's how we have the Most High God visited in the earth. He is literally causing war on the planet Earth. A lot of times, people don't even understand that God does these things, man. That's right. When people are getting killed, who do you think is doing it? Who do you think get, put the hit out for that killing? God did, brother. That's right. right. Don't nothing happen in the earth without his say so, brother. Read this. I Giving our praise to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh We are the battle axes of the Most High coming to wake up the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. That's right. right. Y'all know that y'all the real Israelites according to the Bible, and not the fake bastards that's in our home land, man. Because they had stolen y'all heritage, man. Bring right. it out. The only thing we got is the law of the commandments, and that's the best thing you can have, man. That's right. Hey, that's how you get eternal life and so on and so forth, man. Because, hey, we doing way better being in this truth versus being in this world, man. That's right. This world ain't got nothing to offer us, man. Right. But go ahead and bring this out, huh? This is the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Oh, and yeah. that, knowing the time. And that what? And that, knowing the time. Said, and that, knowing the time. We know. That now, it is high time. Now it's low time. That and now, it is high time. time. Now it's medium time. That and now, it is high time. Hey, it is high time. Hey, mean to be on high alerts, man. That's because right. something is about to happen. But go ahead. To awake! To do uh, what? To, to awake! To do what? To, to awake! They want y'all to wake up, man. Y'all gotta come back to them. But go ahead. Out of sleep! Out of what? Out, Out of sleep. sleep! Because spiritually, a lot of our people, hey, they're spiritually dead, they're spiritually sleep, man. They don't know what's going on. That's right. They think America can save them. Right. But hey, that's not gonna last forever because every great kingdom, it failed, man. And America's gonna fail too. But Bring go ahead. it out. For now, is our salvation. Nearer than we believe. Then what? Nearer than, than we, we believe. believe. Because, hey, every single day, we get closer and closer to our salvation, man. Why you think the time is just going, it's speeding by, man? We are already in a so-called New Year's. Hey, in a couple of months, we're going to be in our New Year's. Right, the real right. New Year's. Right. The, the real Passover and all these uh, high holy days that the Most High God made for us. But Bring go ahead. Out. The night is far spent. The what? The, the night, night is far spent. Because, hey, the night is far spent, man. <laughs> Like, I gotta get up on your high, high horse, man. But go ahead. The day is at hand. The what? The, the day, day is at hand. hand. Because, hey, throughout this whole Bible, it's always giving you warning, man. Give me Ezekiel 3 and 17. Bring it on. It's giving you warning because destruction is coming to this place. Right. And then, hey, if you're on the other side, hey, you're gonna get destroyed too, man. That's, That's right. right. But go ahead. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. The works of what? The, the works, works of, of darkness. darkness. Hey, any type of darkness goes into sin, man. So if you commit adultery, hey, you ain't sin. If you smoking a cigarette, hey, if you drinking to get drunk, if you holding out the sisters and so on and so forth, this right. is sin according to the Bible, man. That's, That's right. right. Let's get there. What's your... No, no, no. Oh, I, oh yeah, I, uh, I know you saying, hey, it's easy, your kid folk. Yeah. Hey, you got any questions, brother? You don't? So let me ask you, what's your nationality, man? What's your race? Huh? Yeah. So, okay, when I look at your pants, or when you look at your pants, what color is that? Now, when you look at your skin color, what color is that? Brown. It's brown. So, you know, they play on our people's ignorance because when you look at a so-called white man, is he really white? Is he white like our shirts? He's not. Because according to the Bible, he's the so-called, uh, he's the Edomites according to the Bible. Right. Or the red man. They the real red man. Right. But they call the Gadites or the Native Americans, they call them, uh, you know, the red skins or whatnot. Teach out. But no, when it comes down to it, Hey, they try to make make it seem like that white is everything all pure and good, and black is everything dark and dirty. Wake him up. But according to his Bible, we the best thing on the planet. That's right. Because right. give me Deuteronomy 76. Bring it up. I'm going to get This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. yeah. For thou art a holy people. For thou art what? For, For thou, thou art, art a holy, holy people. people. Because we are a holy people. The word holy just means to be separate, man. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let me get Leviticus 20, 26. Hold that, though. Because, hey, when it comes down to us being holy, we got to separate ourselves from these other people, man. That's right. Hey, including your own family members, man. Because the most High God, he ain't taking whole family, man. Like, not saying that it can't happen, because, like, hey, all praise to the most High, my intermediate family, we all in the truth, man. 
But hey, some brothers they ain't got no family members in the truth. But hey, the most high God, he do things on his time, man. But go ahead. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and you said 20? 26. And 26. And ye shall be holy unto me. Ye shall be what? And ye shall, shall be holy unto me. me. Uh-huh. For I, the Lord, am holy. For I what? For, For I, I, the Lord, am holy. So the most high God, he want us to be holy because he's holy, man. Because the most high God, you don't see him down here doing the same things that hey, these human beings is doing, right? He ain't doing no type of wickedness, man. Hey, he doing what he told us to do. Hey, that's, that's all it is to him, man. But go ahead. And have severed you from other people. And then what? And, and have severed you from other, other people. people. Because do you know what the definition of serve, servant means? Or severed? Yeah, hey, basically, Separate. yeah, it means to cut. But separate is, is another good word for it, but go ahead. That ye should be mine. That ye shall be what? That, that ye, ye should, should be, be mine. mine. Because, hey, we are the most high guys, man. Even though they say that God loves everybody, no, he don't. He only loves his, his people, man, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Which That's are right. the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Bring it According out. to popular belief. Because give me Joel 2 and 26. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Quick on the swizzle, what? Quick on the swizzle. Nah, nah, go get that one. Take your time, Mike. I know the wind, though. Come on, quick on the swizzle, what? I can't feel my fingers, Mike. We'll get the joy at 2 and 27 first, man. You got that? Oh, so I get it. Okay. Go ahead. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Oh, uh, yeah. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Of who? Of, of Israel. Israel. Everybody. Of, of Israel. Israel. So this is the most I got to let you know. Hey, I'm in the midst of Israel and what? And that I am the Lord your God. Who's God? Your, your God. God. That's the word your. That's a specific, uh, possessive uh, word, a uh, specific noun, or whatever you call it. Go ahead. Pronoun. I can't even talk, but go ahead. <laughs> and that I am the Lord your God. Who's God? Your, your God. God. Uh -huh. And none else. And what? And, and none, none else. else. So, hey, he said, I am your God and none else, man. That's right. That's a beautiful thing, man. But, hey, it's good that you know, because I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna go ahead and skip all the warm up and stuff, man. You an Israelite from the tribe of Judah because your dad is so called black man, right? That's right. Yeah, so you'll be from the tribe of Judah. Same tribe that Christ come from, man. But go ahead. And my people shall never be ashamed. He shall what? Yeah, shall never, never be, be ashamed. ashamed. That's what we gotta be ashamed of, man. We got a guy that's gonna fight for us, man. We ain't gotta worry about uh, siege of boys, man, or the uh, Christ, they, what they call him. Well, Jesus Christ is what they call him, man. He, he ain't doing nothing for us. That's it. Hey, oh, all hey. praise, brother. Yeah. Hey, that's a good book, man. They got a documentary showing there too, man, on Amazon. Yeah. If it's still out there, but hey, bro. When it comes down to these other guys like Buddhism, uh, Jehovah Witnesses, and all that stuff, man. All, all these uh, different type of guys and stuff, them things can't do nothing for our people, man. Right. But Yahweh, the Most High God, and Yahweh Shai, his son, hey, he can do everything for us, man. But we just gotta come back to him. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. For Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art a holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. We know. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He did what? Has, has chosen, chosen thee. Because, hey, we didn't choose the Most High God. The Most High God chose us, man. That's right. He already knew who, uh, what was our predestination, man. He already knew if we was going to serve him or we wasn't going to serve him, man. That's right. Hey, two-thirds of our people, they ain't going to serve him. One-third of his people and 144,000 is going to serve him. That's plain and simple, but go ahead. The Lord thy God has chosen thee huh? to be a special people. To be a what kind of people? To, to be, be a, a special, special people. people. Because I'm gonna ask you, have you ever just thought about, damn man, we do a whole lot of things better than these other nations, but yeah, we still at the bottom of society, man. Just think about it. We the fastest, we right. the strongest, right. we the smartest, right. we look the best, we cook the best, we dance the best, man. Right. We even play these sports, even though it's not our custom. We play these sports better than them, man. Right. Hey, like Jeremiah always bring out, hey, if we had some damn barbers and we was trying to see who could shoot at the parties, hey, we'll be down the hill somewhere, man. Versus then, they're probably barely making past the trash can. Hey, or even if you come down to look, us having to defend ourselves, you can see one of us versus five uh, Edomites, man, or so-called white men. we we tell them up, man. All right. But go ahead. To be a special people uh -huh. unto himself, uh -huh. above all people. Now, above nobody. Above, above all people. people. 
Because hey, that, that's a, a key thing, man, because a lot of people, they skip over this, man. The most High God say, hey, we are above all people. That sounds like a racist God to me, because the word racist just means you for your people, man. The most High God is for his people, and we are for him, man. But go ahead. Above all people no. that are upon the face of the earth. Oh, the face of the what? The, the face, face of, of the, the earth. earth. Cause, hey, we know they say it's like a hundred and some uh, different type of nations, but according to the Bible, it's 18 nations, man. It's us versus the other 17, man. That's right. That's all it is, too. But hey, give me uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. What I had you hold this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Oh, yeah. And now, Israel. And now who? And, and now, Israel. Israel. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's talking to you. Now, go ahead. Right what do the Lord thy God require of thee? He's asking the question. What does the Most High God require of us, man? Because, yeah, it's good that you know you're a special person. It's good that you know you're an Israelite from whatever tribe it is. That's but right. it's more to that, man. That's right. Go ahead. But to fear the Lord thy God. To do what? But to, to fear, fear the Lord thy God. God. Because let's get what fear is, man. Psalms 111 and 10. Bring it out. Yeah, we get that one that uh, is out, we be getting two. <laughs> it's a rock 25 and 12, boy. Hey, get this a rock 25 and 12. Wait, man, that boy go to. Let's we always got to get two or three witnesses, man. Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Huh? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read that again. The, the fear, fear of the Lord, Lord is, is the beginning, beginning of wisdom. wisdom. He said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So once you start fearing the most high God, that's when you start obtaining wisdom. Not of this world, man, but of this Bible. I mean, because, yeah, you got wisdom of this world, but, hey, we know both sides of it because we was in it, man. But, hey, this wisdom right here, this is the one that gets your salvation, man. This this is the one that gets you the kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. A good understanding uh -huh. have all they that do his commandments. They do what? That, that do, do his, his commandments. commandments. He said a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So if a brother is keeping the commandments, then he has a good understanding of this Bible. Man. That's right. But go ahead. His praise endureth forever. No, nah, for, for some time. His praise, praise endureth forever. forever. His praise do endure forever, man. You got that out? Go ahead. Yeah. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 12. Right. Read up. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love. Of his what? Of, of his, his love. love. Of his what? Of, of his, his love. love. Because, hey, if you fear the most high God, you love him. That's plain this up, ain't it? But go ahead. And the faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. Of what? Of, of cleaving, cleaving unto, unto him. Because, hey, we never seen the Most High God or his son Yahweh Shah, but, hey, we got the top-notch type of faith, man. Hey, because we got to cleave unto him, man, because he's the only one that's going to be able to get us at this situation. That's right. Because we're going to touch on some of these curses in a little bit, but let's go ahead and go back to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel, uh -huh. what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord Thy God, uh -huh. to walk in His ways. Not to walk in some of His ways. To, to walk, walk in, in His ways. ways. We got to walk in His ways because the word walking just means to keep His commandments. It's going to sum it up anyway, but go ahead. And to love Him. And to what? And, and to, to love, love him. him. Because let me ask you, brother, do you love the Most High God? Based on based on what you uh, you feel and believe, you believe you, you love the Most High God? Hey, we all thought that too, but let's go ahead and get that, man. You give me John 14 and 15. Hold that, man. Yeah, first John 5, John 14, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this one here, Ace, uh, 101, man. Quick, don't let's it. This is the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Uh -huh. If ye love me, uh -huh. keep my commandments. Read that again. If ye love me, keep my commandments. What that say? What that just say, bro? Right. Hey, he right. said, if you love me, keep my commandments. It don't get no simpler than that. I'll praise man, but go here and bring this up. This is the book of John, uh, first John, chapter five and verse three. Uh -huh. yeah. Four, this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep his commandments. That we do what? That, that we, we keep his, his commandments. He's saying the exact same thing. If you love the most high God, you're gonna keep his commandments. If you know the most high God, you're gonna keep his commandments. If you have faith in the most high God, you're gonna keep his commandments. If you believe in him, you're gonna keep his commandments. If you're gonna serve the most high God, you're gonna keep his commandments, man. It's always gonna revert back, back to the same thing, man. So go ahead. And his commandments are not grievous. It is what? His, his commandments, commandments are, are not grieving. Meaning his commandments are not hard to do, man, because it ain't hard to grow hair on your face, man, right? To grow a beard. 
It ain't hard to stop smoking cigarettes. It ain't hard to stop eating unclean foods like pig, shrimp, crab, and lobster, man, catfish. It ain't hard to stop going after sisters, man. You know, these, some of these lust is like hard on some brothers, but at the same time, hey, braces, the most high guys and laws going against, uh, you know, uh, Texas alone, man. Texas got, what, a thousand something laws, man. But we keep the majority of them because we ain't in jail, right? right? So why can't we serve the most high God, man? Why, hey, why can't we keep his laws, man? He says commandments and not grievance. Right. And everything in this word that he brought out, hey, it came to pass, will come to pass, or it's going to come to pass, man. Mm -hmm. so go ahead. <laughs> you, no, go back to that B1. Oh, I got it. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. and, and now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Now, with some of your heart and some of your soul. With, with all, all thy heart, heart and, and with all, all thy soul. soul. With all your heart and with all your soul, because the heart goes into uh, you know your mind, man. Because give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. Bring it out, huh? I'm gonna bring everything down to the T, man. Thus says the Lord. That's right. right. No. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. Bring it right. out. The heart is deceitful. The what? The, the heart, heart is deceitful. Uh -huh. Above all things. Above what? Above, Above all, all things. things. You gotta think about it. When you commit sin, are you using this or are you using this? You gotta think these things out before you do any of that, right? Right. Because this heart, hey, it's doing nothing but pumping blood, man. That's just a, a vessel pumping blood. That's right. But when it comes down to your mind, hey, that's a wicked thing, man. That mother is desperately weak. But go ahead. The heart is the sequel uh -huh. above all things uh -huh. and desperately wicked. Uh-huh. Who can know it? Who what? Who, who can, can know, know it? Because you know, once that guy, he got a sense of humor too. He like, hey, who can know it? Of course he gonna know it because he made it, man. That's right. But hey, at the same time, that don't just because it's wicked don't mean we're supposed to be leaning on our own understanding, man. If that makes sense. Because hey, even with Proverbs, what, 4 and 23? Okay. Go ahead, bring this up. We'll finish that out. And then we got Proverbs 13. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. All right, verse 10. Ah, the Lord, search the heart. He do what? Ah, the, the Lord, Lord, search, search the, the heart. Because, hey, every last one of us, uh, us brothers over here, hey, he searched our heart, man. That's right. And we heard him when he called out to us, man. That's right. But go ahead. Ah, try the ring. He do what? Ah, try, try the, the ring. He tried the deepest parts of your heart, man. But go ahead. Even to give every man according to his ways. According to his what? According, according to, to his, his ways. ways. Whether you're doing wickedness or whether you're doing righteousness, man. He gonna give you your judgment, man. But go ahead. And according to the fruit of his doing. Of his what? Of, of his, his doing. doing. Uh-huh. But go ahead, give me Proverbs uh, 4 and 23. Bring it out. Go ahead, I'll preach. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 23. Bring it out. Keep thy heart with all diligence. Because I'm gonna ask you, brother, why did, why did the Most High God tell us to do that? Keep thy heart with all diligence. If you don't know, you can say, I don't know. You don't know? The Most High God told us to keep on hunts with our diligence because, let's go ahead. For out of it huh? are the issues of life. Uh, what? Are the, the issues, issues of, of life. life. Because, hey, every time we start leaning on our own understanding, we in some type of trouble, man. Right. Hey, because like even like how I was bringing out, when you're going, going messing with a sister when you know she got a man, hey, that man could possibly kill you. Or you can wind, or he can wind up in jail, man. And then, hey, you in the grave somewhere, man. Right. Or hey, even when you smoking a blunt, somebody can lace your blunt, and now you think you smoking weed, but you smoking K two, man. Yeah. Or PCP. Hey, same with the bread, man. Hey, they be putting little, uh, you know, little pills and stuff in people's beard. Like especially when you going out to clubs and stuff, man. Cause we all know what ends ends up happening after a club, man. Either it's gonna get shot up, or you gonna go sleep with a sister that got a man, right. and then you wind up be dead, man. But go ahead. Put away from thee forward mouth. But what? Put away, away from, from thee a forward mouth. mouth. Cause that's another thing, man. A lot of our people, they like talking, man. Cause that's why they say this tongue, hey, did it get you in some trouble, man? That's right. But before the tongue, hey, you gotta think about it. You thought about these things before you even blurted that stuff out, man. That's right. why he said keep it with all diligence, man. That's right. Seven and 21. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's more than that. Yeah, Perverse lips and what? And, and perverse, perverse lips. lips. Because hey, so, some people's lips, hey, they call it for strokes, man. That's why some people, a lot of people get busted in the mouth because they just keep on talking, running their mouth, man. But hey, that's why I said study to be quiet, man. No when to speak and no when not to speak. That's so, right. Hey, put far from thee. Uh huh? 
Let thine eyes look right on. No, left on. Let thy eyes look right on. Looking right on because what is right according to the Bible? Let's get that. Deuteronomy 6 and 17. Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy. You said 6 and 18? Yeah, 6 and 18. Chapter 6 and verse 18. Bring it out. And thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord. Uh -huh. That it may be well with thee. Nah, that it may be wrong with thee. That, that it, it may, may be, be well, well with, with thee. thee. Hey, you do right by the Most High God, you get good things out of it. If you do wrong by the Most High God, you get the judgment out of it, man. You get the evil out of it. Go ahead. And that thou mayest go in and possess the good uh -huh. land, land which the Lord swear unto thy father. Which he did what? Which he swore unto, unto thy father. father. Hey, man, so that's just plain and simple. We have a couple more minutes All right, go ahead. Let's go ahead and go to this curse. Because, hey, anytime a person asks you, happy, you know you is a light man, this is the one thing that we always go to, man, these curses, man. Because uh, ain't no nation of people going through this stuff like we going through. That's man. right. That's right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments. So it said, it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and to observe, Cause you know the, the root word of hearken means to hear, man. That's right. That's why he gave us two ears and one mouth, man. But go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments. No, some of his commandments. All, all his, his commandments. commandments. Uh -huh. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. No, tomorrow. This, this day. day. No, next year. This, this day. day. Hey, this very day, man. And whatever time it is, man. Hey, he wants you to come back to him and start keeping his commandments. But go ahead. Right. That all these curses. That all these what? That, that all, all these, these curses, curses huh? shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And what? And yeah, overtake, overtake thee. Because, hey, sure enough, when you look at it, at all the races on the planet, who gets shot down in the streets? Ain't that us? Hey, who got single parent households? Ain't that us? Hey, who ain't got no pots of piss here? Ain't that us? Right. All this, the most high guy, he cover everything. Because let's go ahead and keep on reading. Let's get some of these curses. 28 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall what? Curse shall, shall thou be in, in the, the city. city. Everything I just ran down. Because look over there. You don't see no white man over there. Every now and then you probably see him. But as a majority, you're going to see all people down there. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. That's right. That's right. right. And curse shall thou be in the field. In the what? In, in the, the field. field. Because, hey, don't that ring a bell? What fields will we curse in, man? Uh, I'm right. crazy, man. Hey, we was cursing the cotton field, the sugar cane field, tobacco field, rice field, corn field. They call it streets the field. Hey, hey, I'm crazy, man. You got something on you, man. But even when it comes, when you bring it up to today, we're cursed in the work field. Last high, first five. How I always bring out, hey, you could be working there for 10 plus years, man, and they'll bring in a so called Edom, or an Edomite, or a so called white man, and then he'll take your place, man. He'll be your supervisor in the next two weeks. That's in the right. Next two days, man. But they talk about seniority. Hey, that don't that don't mean nothing to us, man. Or should I say, hey, when it come down to they, they rules and stuff, hey, it don't apply to us. It only apply to their people, man. Right. But go ahead. Seventeen. Curse shall thou be shall thou bask. You can jump down to thirty-seven. Okay. Matter of fact, thirty-two. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and 32. Uh -huh. yeah. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. I told what? Another, another people. people. Have, have you ever seen uh, the movie Roots? I heard of it, but I Well, I know you're probably familiar with it, but hey, whenever brothers and sisters they had uh, children, Hey, they'll get took away, uh, they'll get their children take from them. And then they'll be on another uh, auction block or a cotton field or whatever the case may be, man. They'll be across the country somewhere, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, hey, let's read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Because, hey, you, you, the mama gonna be weeping and crying all the day long, man. But, hey, they ain't, go, they ain't gonna be able to do nothing. Or even when you bring it up to today. Who is the main people that's always trying to, you know, uh, take our children, man? Ain't it CPS? Hey, because, hey, it, it, it covers everything, man. Hey, CPS is just the modern day us, uh, you know, the uh, with the slave owners and stuff, man. But go ahead. And there shall be no might in thine hand. There shall be what? And there shall be there. no might, might in, in thine hand. Because we ain't got no type of might, man. But, hey, 
We do got them to a certain extent, but hey, because we broke the commandments, that's why we ain't got no might in the first place, man. But go ahead. Or you can jump down to 46, 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses. All these what? All, all these curses. curses uh, shall come upon thee uh, and shall pursue thee uh, and overtake thee uh, till thou be destroyed. Hey, basically reiterating verse 15, but go ahead. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh, to keep his commandments. What? To, to keep, keep his, his commandments. You know? And his statutes, uh, which he commanded thee. Uh, <laughs> and they Lord. shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. For a what? For a wonder. For a sign and for a wonder. I, I'm going to finish this out, but like, even when you look at that sign right there, they say, do not enter. How do you know that? That's what they say, man. Because it's saying on the thing, man. So same with these curses. That's how we identify that we are the people that put it like I was telling you earlier, man. But let's go ahead and finish this out. And upon thy seed forever. For how long? Forever. forever. When it say forever, it's just talking about in this lifetime. Because in, in the next lifetime, Lord, Lord's oh. will, we'll be running everything, man. But hey, with that, that's my time. I'm session up. So, oh. um, let me get two new readers, man. So boots can warm up, man. You understand what the brothers are bringing out, man? Oh, praise out. That's what we are here to do, teach our people who they are according to the Bible. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Giving all honor and praises to the Most High and to his son, Yahweh Shah. We the battle axes of the Most High coming to teach our people these things, man. Get up. Give me the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Because like you say, these things are happening to our people because we breaking God's commandments. Do you believe in the Bible, brother? I do, but it's like, I always be, like, you know, like, it's New age, they be saying, like, like, you know, the white man, like, we wrote it and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you were all touching stuff. I do believe in it, though, like, yeah. there's certain stuff that, like, I feel in my heart, like, I ain't gonna cross yeah. no boundaries type stuff. Yeah, like, and we're gonna show you that the Bible was only for our people, but I wanna get this precept right quick. Read this, huh? This is the book of Daniel, chapter 9, and verse number 11. Bring it out! Yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law. So, guess what? All Israel have transgressed God's laws, meaning broken God's laws going into the northern and the southern tribe. The southern tribe consists of blacks. The northern tribe consists of Native Americans and Mexican Americans. You understand me, brother? That's why you see our brothers out here, because they're That's going right. through the same things we go through. That's we right. don't I Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Thy what? Thy, thy voice. voice. So the voice of God is the Bible, brother. And that's what our people are not doing. This is how you can distinguish if the white man wrote the book or if the book is for him whether they are following the voice of the Bible or not. Prime example, I always bring this up. They go to church on what day? Sunday. The Bible tells you to go to church on what day? Saturday. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells you not to celebrate Christmas, but do they celebrate Christmas? Yes, they do. The Bible tells you not to do what? Eat abominable foods, to eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, but do they do that? Yes. So this is how you can discern whether the Bible is for them or not. Because they ain't doing the damn thing that the Bible is telling them to do. Uh, Read this. I Therefore, the curse. The what? The, the curse. curse. The what? The, the curse. curse. The curses that the brother was bringing out to you in Deuteronomy is what? It's poured upon us. That's why we're suffering the Peach things up. that we're suffering, brother. Because guess what? The curses are poured out upon us because we what? We are breaking God's commandments. That's right. Right. And that's the simple. Give me Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. Bring it up. Because we tell and teach our people these things all the time. Guess what? We can eat certain things, but certain things that we can't eat. That's right. right. But in the church, they tell you they put no difference between those things, man. That's right. Then the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Right? Bring it out. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. Bring it out. Yeah. And the swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. Swine is the pig. That's Read on. Don't. He divided the hoop. So these are the classifications for foods that we can and cannot eat. So he has to divide the hoof, meaning his foot, feet, or hoof has to be divided. You understand me, bro? His hoof, his feet, he has to divide the hoof. Read on up. And be cloven footed. And be cloven footed. It has to be cloven footed. Read on. Yet he chews not the cut. So a pig has cloven feet, one of the classifications, but he don't have the other classification, meaning he don't chew the cud meaning like a cow or an ox. A cow or an ox have four stomachs. 
so it can properly digest the food and get all the nutrients out. A pig doesn't have four stomachs. Right. The pig don't even have sweat glands. That's right. Most like God created the pig to be the what? The garbage disposal of the earth. That's right. He eat anything. Right. And our people do what? Eat these things up, man. That's right. Even like the brother said, you put some doodle out there and eat it. Right. That's so right. this is why our people are suffering from what? The different type of health diseases that we have. That's right. Diabetes, high blood pressure, all these different type of things we suffer from because we what? We break God's commands. That's right. right. He is unclean to you. He is what? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to, to you. But well, what do Pastor Porkchop do? That's why we call him that. Teach because right after teach. Church, Sunday worship church, what they not supposed to be doing, they go to what? Furs, they go to Grandy's, get the biggest pork chop sandwich they can get. That's right. Get the biggest bacon sandwich that they can get. The Bible literally just told you and commanded you not to do those things. That's man. right. That's why we suffer as a nation of people. Read on. Boy. Is there flesh? Shall you not yeah. eat? Shall you not what? Shall, Shall you not, not eat? eat? Can you eat pork, brother? Yeah. You gotta shake it, brother. I'm gonna tell you, man. I, they got many videos. You pour a coat on some bacon. See all type of worms coming up out of that right. thing, right, man. Right, right. That stuff is thick. Destroying our people's bodies, bro. <laughs> Certain fish that we can't eat. The classifications for fish is what? It has to have fins and scales, brother. So we can't just eat whatever the hell we want to eat, man, because these things are destroying our body. You eat pork, bro. You eat pork. You eat pork. All praise, bro. Do you keep the rest of the commandments of God, though? What that means? Somewhat do you believe in the Bible? Let's start there. You gonna go to church tomorrow? Oh, you say that again? All praise, because guess what? The Most High God gave us the day to go to church on, and it's not Sunday. That's right, what? That's right, brother. All praises. That's what we are here teaching our people, man. We teaching the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who we are according to the Bible. That's right. And if we don't want to get destroyed when thermonuclear bombs hit America, we got to repent and keep the commandments. Give me Acts chapter 3, verse 8. Break it out. You give me Sirach chapter 21. Break it out. Bring it out. Verse 5. Read this, huh? This is the book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 8. Bring it out. And he, leaping up, stood and walked. 3 and verse 18, 19. Salaki, I can repent. Read on. The book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 18. Bring it out. Salaki, so verse 19. Uh -huh. yeah. Repent ye therefore. Do what? Repent ye therefore. Do what? Repent ye therefore. So the Bible commands us to repent, meaning acknowledge your faults according to the Most High God. Acknowledge what you are doing wrong that's not according to the Bible. When our people are dressed out of order, right. your sisters dressed out of order, you got our people celebrating Christmas, our people celebrating Thanksgiving. These Hella days are not in the Bible. That's right. That's right. But guess what? He told us to keep Passover. He told us to keep the Feast of Dedication. That's right. He told right. us to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Right. These are the things that we're supposed to celebrate. We don't know. And be converted. And be what? And, and be, be converted. converted. The Bible says to repent and be converted. What converts you? Keeping God's commandments. That's we don't right. know. That your sins may be blotted out. What is sin according to the Bible, brother? Do you know? Something that God don't agree with. That's right. But we're going to give you the direct answer to that. Give me 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Give me that, Brother Hosea. You can hold that precept. Give me that. So we're going to give you what the Bible defines as sin. You get that read that out. Right. You know it's cold. Ask the most I got to warm my fingers up. So uh, for real. <laughs> Boy, look, look, look. Okay. This is the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Committed sin transgressive also the law. The word transgress means to break. So it's right. saying if you commit sin, you are breaking God's laws. Right. They teach us that it's how many laws? Ten. They teach us that it's ten. But it's over 613 because where it tells you not to eat pork is not in the big ten. Thou shalt not rape is not in the big ten. Right. You commit usury against your brother is not in the big ten. That's right. How you should marry your wife is not in the Big Ten. Right. So that's letting you know that it's what? More than just 10 commandments. Right. It's over 613 commandments. That's right. And guess what? It's over thousands of laws in America. But our people break their necks to do that. But you don't want to keep God's commandments. Right. That makes no yeah. sense. Read on, huh? For sin. For what? For, For sin. sin. Read on. 
is the transgression of the law. For sin is the breaking of God's laws. Read this, huh? Okay. The book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Right now, right. repent ye, therefore, read on. and be converted. Brother, come check us out, man. We're over here for you, brother. Read on. That your sins may be blotted out. Because what converts us? Keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments, that's what converts us, brother. Right. From right. being that wicked brother to being that righteous brother. That's you right. believe in the Bible, brother? Why not? You uh, think it's the white man's book? Okay. We want you to die. We want to dialect with you, though. He so you get ready for captivity, man. Right. 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 We don't, right? With the types. Say it again. Yeah. All praise, huh? right. Get that brother a hand clap. This brother right here from Gad, man. Native American, man. Read on, huh? When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Because contrary to popular belief, this earth is about to be destroyed, man. That's right. And a lot of people don't even know what the hell is going on, man. Eventually, there those wars that's over there on the other side of the earth. That's going to spill over to her, man. That's, that's right. right. These things ain't no joke, man. Like, the time is at hand, that's man. That's right. So I'm talking about people, wake the hell up, man. Right. Give me that in the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9. Read this, huh? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 21, verse 5. Bring it out. And part out of a poor man's mouth reaches to the ears of God. Sirach chapter... Start at verse 1. You're right. This, this is the book of Sirach, chapter yeah, verse yeah. 21 and verse 1. Uh-huh. My son, has thou sinned? Has you broken God's commandments? Read on. Do so no more. Do what? Do, do so, so no, no more. more. That's what we are here to teach our people. If you are breaking God's commandments, do so no more. Brothers, it's a commandment for you to grow your beards. That's right. It's a commandment for you to wear fringes on the borders of your garments. That's right. right. It's a, a command to grow up. That's right. That's a commandment. Let's get that for the brother. Give me Bring the Bible, chapter 21, verse 5. That's up. why the most high God sent us out because we're teaching you things out of the Bible that you may not know, brother. That's right. They're not teaching, teaching this in Christianity, brother. Christianity is white supremacy. That's right. Christianity has nothing at all to do with the Bible. The so called right. white man stole the Bible and taught it to our people incorrectly. Read this out. Right. The book of Leviticus. Chapter 21 and verse number 5. Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. That's why you see me growing out my hair, even though I'm forehead bald. We can't bald our head like Michael Jordan. That was an Egyptian custom. That's brother. right. That's right. When the Most High God took us out from the Egyptians, guess what? He told us on how to look, brother. So we can't bald our head. Read on. Neither shall they shave off the, of their corner of their beard. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beards. That's why you That's see right. these brothers with these beards out here, brother. Because guess what? A beard is a badge of manly dignity, brother. That's right. That's, right. That's how you know the difference between a what? A male line and a female line. That's how you know the difference between a man and a child. Right. Men grow beards, brother. That's right. You understand me? Read on. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. That's going into you what? Getting tattooed. That's right. Guess what? It's a sin for brothers to get tattoos. Yes. You know? Before we got this knowledge, we had tattoos, but we done repented from those things, and we're not getting those things anymore, That's brother. Right. You That's understand right. me? Read this, huh? No, I want this. Um, yeah. Second Ezra, chapter yeah. 9. Read this, huh? It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, and verse number 1. Bring it out. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And that's what we tell them, brothers, man. You got to measure the times, man. You see what's happening over there in Israel versus Hamas. Right. You see what's happening with Ukraine and guess what, Gaza. All those different wars that's going on over there, brother. Guess right. what? That stuff is eventually going to come over here, man. Right, that's right. And guess what? If you're not measuring the times diligently, brother, you're going to get caught up in that thing, man. That's we don't know. And when thou seest part of the signs past, uh -huh. which I have told thee before. Part of the signs past is Christ warning us about this in Matthew. Give me Matthew 24 and verse 7. Bring it out. Wars and rumors of wars. Ain't wars already here, brother? It's war already here. These are part of the signs that Christ warned us about, man. You know what I want? Read this out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7. Bring it out. For nations shall rise against nation uh -huh. and kingdom against kingdom right on. and there shall be famines and there shall be famines it said nation shall rise against nation oh ain't that what we hear all oh, praise brother oh i'm gonna tell you put that thing on though brother right the gadite shirt hey we see you with the fringes on that thing man look like you got a board up blue on that too read on up there'll be famines and pestilence brother come over and talk to us right quick though read on and earthquakes and death 
And Diver! Hey, take that fly, check us out, brother, we do And Diver Place! Uh-huh. All these are the beginning of sorrow! Of what? Of, of sorrow. sorrow! Of what? Of, of sorrow. sorrow! All these are the beginning of sorrows, brother, like we was being warned in 2nd Ezra. Ezra was during the time of the Persian and Mede captivity. This is about 538 BC, brother. 538 years before Christ even That's walked right. the earth, brother. This was thousands of years ago, and we see these things playing out right now huh? in real time, brother. Right. Read this, right? The book of Second Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 2. Bring it up. Yeah. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time. When what? Wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So guess what? God is visiting the earth, man. Do you think God hates? Yeah. No, nah, yeah, hold it. Let, uh, you know what I want. Give me Romans. Run the precepts. Give me uh, Malachi. Because that's how we have the Most High God visited in the earth. He is literally causing war on the planet Earth. A lot of times, people don't even understand that God does these things, man. That's right. That's right when I... people are getting killed, who do you think is doing it? Who do you think get, put the hit out for that killing? God did, bro. That's, that's right. right. Don't nothing happen in the earth without his say so, brother. Read this. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. Uh -huh. As it is written, Jacob, have I loved. Jacob is the progenitor of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is our forefather. A lot of times we ask these questions like, dang, if God created all races on the planet earth, where are we in the Bible? With this who we are, that's who we be, brother. We from Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel, brother. That's right. We don't know. But Esau, have I hated? Now this is going into the so-called white man. And what did the Bible say? But Esau. But who? But Esau. No. Have I hated? So do God hate? Yes, the black Israelites are part of the, part of the prophecy and revelation, the Holy Bible. Which revelation though? Which one? I see you know some things. But to get a good understanding, which one though? Give me that in the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. Shalom, shalom. Right. We're waiting for you to get back on this side, bro. We're waiting on you, man. 11 and 8. Read this, right. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. Right. Right. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. This is that great city, man. This is talking about on the spiritual level. Why are there dead bodies? Because we don't know who the hell we are. That's when right. we ask our people what's their race according to the Bible, they say, I don't know. I'm a child of God. Well, which child of God? Right. Read on up. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So God calls this place spiritually Sodom and Egypt. What happened in Sodom and Gomorrah? There was an all type of homosexuality, in all type of unlawful lust. You understand, brother? That's the same thing that's going on in America. That's right. You have transgenders, you have homosexuality running rampant, man. Right. Right. Men and women, you can't turn on the TV without not seeing one of them, man. Right. I'm talking about this just straight madness out here, man. And we right. see in the Bible that's what right. God did to Jesus. Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. He right. destroyed that place, man. Guess what, he's gonna destroy this place too. That's right. And that, instead of it being fire and brimstone, it's gonna be nuclear missiles and brimstone, brother. That's right. right. Read on, huh? Where also our Lord was crucified. Guess what, and our Lord was crucified because they teach that Christ is what color? Right. But the Bible say he what color? Black, that's right. So that's another lie to show you that the so-called white man didn't write the Bible. Because if I'm a white man, all the characters in my Bible gonna be what? Teach, white. Teach. <laughs> if I'm a white man, but this let you know that our forefathers wrote these things because guess what? Right. All the men in this Bible are black except Esau. Right. right. All nations have a foundation of being melanated people. Only nation that have people that weren't melanated was Esau. That's right. right. You switch out, you good? So we show, and, and the Most High God is showing us who we are. Read this, Ah. It's the book of Malachi. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. out. The burden of the word. It's like, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 2. Uh-huh. I have loved you, say the Lord. We don't. Yet ye say, where thou hast loved us. It says, wherein hast thou loved us. This is Malachi talking to the Most High. You say you love us, Lord, but how do you love us when you let us get shot down by the police? When you confine us to the ghettos and to the slums? Right. When we're on the bottom of society? Right. When we confine to be, guess what? Baby mamas and baby, baby daddies. How are you showing that you love us, Lord? Read on, right? Was not Esau 
Jacob's brother. Now the Most High God is gonna break it down to Malachi. He said, was not Esau Jacob's brother? Read on, not. Say the Lord. Uh-huh. Yet, I love Jacob. Read on. And I hate, I hate Esau. Esau. The Most High God can reply by saying that what? I loved y'all, but I hated him. That's right. right. Meaning I chose y'all to be my chosen people, and I cast them off, man. Y'all right. my right. chosen people, right. but guess what? Y'all are disobeying me, so now I'm punishing y'all. Right. And that's the thing with the Bible. The Bible is straightforward to the point, man, showing you who it's for, who it's only for, and it's not for all races. Right. Hey, people right. have taught us that it was for all races. Bring it up. When they the lies that the Bible speaks of, man. That's Give right. it in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 44. Bring it up. No. They're the father of lies, man. That's right. They brought us over here in captivity, so why in the hell will we ever believe anything that they would tell us? Bring it on! Especially when it comes to our book. Give me that in Psalms 139 and 19. Bring it out! 147. Read this. Uh, this is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 44. Bring it, Bring it out. out! Ye are of your father the devil, the who? The, the devil. devil. Bring it out. And the lust of your father ye will do. Ye will what? Ye, ye will, will do. do. Bring it on, uh. He was a murderer. From the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. And guess what? There is no truth in him. Hey, right. When he speaketh a lie, when he does what? When, when he, he speaketh speak a lie, lie, saying Christ is white. When, when he speaketh a lie, lie, saying God is white. When, when he speaketh a lie, lie, he speaketh of his own. Because guess what? That's not in the Bible. The Bible tells you what God looks like. Right. The Bible tells you what the angels look like. The right. Bible tells you what Christ looked like. That's it tells you what, that's what the Israelites look like, that's right? right? That's how we know that, guess what, this can't be a white man's book. Right. When brothers and sisters are saying that the Bible is a white man's book, brothers ain't never read the Bible. That's right. right. We say that a lot of time, and people love to regurgitate lies that they have been taught, man. Right. Oh, that it was a uh, King James was a faggot. Well, brothers, then what history do you know about King James? That's man? right, teach y'all. You exactly. That's it's not a coincidence why I'm bringing these things out because we know our people are just regurgitating lies that was been passed down, right? Mainly from the so-called white man. That comes from a man named James Worthington. They try to do what? Discredit King James. That's right. Two 17, shots. 20 years after he died. Right. Because he didn't like the legacy that he was leaving behind. King James was fighting. He was one of the last ruling black kings of Europe. Right. right. Fighting right. to keep God's commandments, man. And they slandered his name. Right. Read this out. For he is a liar. Read that again. For, For he, he is, is a liar. liar. And the father of it. And the what? And the father of it. So that's why we have these lies that's out here. They're perpetuated by the so-called white man. So I'm going to show you that, guess what? God is not dealing with everybody, brother. The Bible is not for everybody. Give me Romans 3 and 1. Read this. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Break it out. He shook his word unto Jacob. The Most High God is telling you that he showed his word, meaning he showed the Bible to Jacob. That's Jacob right. is who? The tribe, the nation of Israel. Read on out. Right. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Read on. He has not dealt. He had what? He, he has, has not dealt. So with any nation. Read on. And as far as his judgments, they have not known them. Did you understand what that scripture said? God said that he what? He had not dealt so with any nation. Nations translate to races. That's right. Right. God is not dealing with all races, man. He's only dealing with one race of people, right? Which is what? The Israelites. That's right. right. Come deal with, come be a man and come over and talk to us then, brother. Guess what? We're going to be cold for the most time, brother. Yeah. That's why you see us out here, brother. That's right. And guess what? What is you out here doing then, brother, if it's so damn cold? Why you ain't got your ass in the house then? Right. That ain't make no damn sense. At least be out here doing something productive. Right. We're out here trying to raise up our nation of people, That's trying right. to teach them who they are. Right. And I know damn well you don't know who you are, brother. Right. So guess what? You might need to learn something, little youngster, man. That's what's wrong with our people. They want to put down anything that's positive out here and then glorify wickedness, man. Right. Chasing a bag. Then you're going to get put to death trying to chase a bag, That's man. right. Jesus. This again, huh? And don't try to run, get on a train, say something like a little weak brother. Just come stand up like a man and come face us face to face. Read this, huh? He have not dealt so with any nation. No. 
as for his judgment, they have not known it. And they don't know the judgments of the most high because guess what? God is not dealing with them because he has a chosen race, man. This is what they're not teaching our people in these bogus religion uh, uh, churches, man. Right. Teaching that God loves everybody. That God is dealing with all races. You won't get that in the Bible, brother. The Bible is to the Israelites, for the Israelites, by the Israelites, brother. What questions you got, brother? Love, man. It's the love. They start with one of them. That's right. That's why we out here, man. Get the first Peter chapter 3, verse 15, man. We are here to answer questions, man. Because a lot of things have been lied to our people, especially about the Bible. So we're going to break down all these lies. You need to switch out. Switch out with Ock, man. Somebody. Reach us, Ock. This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, and verse 15. But sanctify the Lord your God in your heart. Uh huh. And be ready always uh -huh. to give an answer. To do what? To, to give, give an, an answer. answer. The Bible says be ready always to give an answer. Meaning that's why we out here to answer questions. Read on. To every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. And what? And, and fear. fear. So that's what we out here, brother. To answer these questions according to the Bible. So when we ask you, what tribe do you come from? So-called Negro, you will be from the tribe of what? Look at the sign. The tribe of Judah, bro. That's right. You see that tribe of Judah is American blacks, bro. Guess who else comes from the tribe of Judah, bro? Teach him, I teach. Let's get that. Give me Hebrews okay. chapter 7, verse 14. You got it? Read this out. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Right right out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Jesus the Christ comes out of Judah, bro. That's right. Give me Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. Read this again, huh? For it is like it. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident. Meaning it's in the scriptures. Meaning it is evident. Evidence uh, uh, to that, to bag that statement up, you know? That's our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Christ comes out of the tribe of Judah, out of the nation of Israel. So Christ will be our what? Cousin, distant cousin, brother. A lot of times people don't even understand that, brother. The same blood that is running through Christ is running through you, brother. That's right. That's why we're able to do great things as a nation of people while still being at the bottom of society, brother. We've been in slavery for over 400 years. Right. But guess what? We still right here, man. Right. The best, brother, in sports, the smartest, the best cooks, the best dressed, the best built. What nation can take us down, man, when we in our right mind, That's man? That's right, teach y'all. That's brother. Teach. That's what we're here to teach us. That's not by coincidence. That's because we the children of the Most High. Right. Matthew, chapter 1, uh, verse... Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. Come on, come on, come on. Read this. Matthew, chapter 2, verse 6. And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah. In the land of hope. In, in the, the land, land of, of Judah. Judah. Are, the, are not the least among the princes of Judah. Uh-huh. For out of thee shall come a governor Read on. that shall rule my people Israel. That shall rule all people. That Let's shall rule, rule my, my people, people Israel. Israel. This scripture is literally showing you that the Most High God put Christ on the earth to do what? Rule over the children of Israel. Christ is not dealing with all nations. Give me Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. Bring it out. Christ ain't dealing with all nations. Give me Romans chapter 9, verse 4. Right, read this, all right? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Bring it out. Yeah. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. To everybody. Unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is out of Christ's own mouth that he didn't come for nobody but who? Us, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, brother. But Christianity will have you to believe that, guess what, Christ came and died for everybody, right? That what? That's not in the Bible. Read this, huh? Romans chapter nine, verse four. Bring it out. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who, Who are, are Israelites? Read on. To whom pertained the adoption? The adoption belonged to the Israelites. Christianity will try to say that guess what? The adoption belongs to those that are grafted in. The graft. We are the grafted in, brother. Right. Right. Guess what? We trying to graft you into this thing right now, brother. Right. Read on, huh? And the glory, the glory belongs to the Israelites. Read on. And the covenants, the covenants, both the old covenant and the new covenant belong to the Israelites. Read on. And the giving of the law. The laws of God were only given to the Israelites. Read on. And the service of God. The service of God belongs to the Israelites. Read on. And the promises. The promises belong to the Israelites. Read on. Who 
are the fathers uh -huh. and of whom as, the, as, as concerning the flesh Christ came. It's literally telling you that Christ came and died for the Israelites, bro. That's right. You know, who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. Read this, Art. This is the book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 23. Right of this man's seed hath God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior. Unto all people. Unto, unto Israel, Israel a, a Savior. Savior. We can go precept upon precept. Read on, Art. Jesus. That's it. <laughs> it says, had raised unto Israel a Savior, Yahweh Shah. That's right. Throughout Genesis to Revelation, the Bible is only about the Israelites. That's how Christ eventually came and died for the nation of Israel. Read this, huh? Yeah, something. No, no, no. Give me a... Uh... Now, give me that uh, Romans chapter 1, verse 6. You understand who you are according to the Bible, bro? You believe in the Bible? Do you do the things that's in the Bible, though? Why not, brother? It's not hard to do. A lot of times our people think that keeping God's commandments are hard, but they're not, brothers. And the reason why our people suffer as a nation of people is because we break God's commandments. That's right. It's a chastise, it's a judgment for those things, brother. Give me that in the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6, man. Give me Romans chapter 1 and verse 3. Romans chapter 1, verse 3. Uh -huh. Concerning his son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, which was named, which was made of the seed, of David, uh -huh. according to the flesh. According to the what? According, according to, to the, the flesh. flesh. We don't, uh. And declared to be the son of God. Uh -huh. With power. With what? With, with power. power. With what? With, with power. power. We don't, uh. According to the spirit of holiness. We don't, uh. By the resurrection from the dead. We don't. Keep reading. By whom we have received grace and uh, apostleship. Apostleship. By whom we receive grace and apostleship. Meaning what? Grace is a time period for us to get ourselves right, brother. Right. It's not a time period for us to keep shucking and jiving out here, right. man. Teach, the time teach. is at hand, man. That's right. We see the destruction that, right. guess what, on this planet Earth that's getting worse and worse, brother. Don't you see it, brother? It's getting worse and worse, man. Next year, they probably have another goddamn disease out of something, man. Oh, okay. I'm right. trying to tell the world's going to pop off, man. That's right. Famines, rumors of wars. World War Three is on a brink, brother. This thing can literally kick off at any time, man. That's Hell, right. it really is right now. That's right. Teach you Whether brothers and sisters want to believe that thing or not, man. You understand that? With that, I'm going to bring up the next teacher. I'll say shalom. Come on. Right. 